somewhere this week I'm going to hear if I've been admitted to the writing course. Good morning! Today is Monday the 2nd of October, which means that tomorrow is the 3rd of October and that is a holiday day in the city where I live, Leiden. On the 3rd of October we always celebrate being free from the Spaniards in the 16th century. Um, so the whole town is just filled with like fairground and food stands and lots of music everywhere but of course because people are free on the third people party the day before which is today the 2nd of October and it's very clear that all of the festivities have already started you can probably hear I don't know if, you, if it picks it up but even with the windows closed I can hear like the music in the background and that's probably gonna be worse tomorrow <laughs> I'm not free because I work for myself, so I just have to work tomorrow. I do think tonight I'm gonna go check out the fairground and just have a little walk around. Now I'm just gonna do some quick groceries and have lunch. Also, somewhere this week I'm going to hear if I've been admitted to the writing course that I signed up for. If you've missed, um, I talked about it I think two vlogs ago. I signed up for a writing course for the fall semester it's not it's not affiliated with the university or anything it's like a its own thing because i really want to start writing and learn how to write and there's this really really cool writing group in rotterdam that i would love to join but every single one of their courses only admits eight people and i'm sure they get lots and lots and lots of admissions and they choose only based on like a short little motivation that you had to send in so i really don't know if i'm gonna make it through there were three courses that i signed up for one of them kind of like an introductory writing course i was already not admitted to that deadline was like way earlier but the other two that i signed up for one is about writing without perfectionism just like trying things out and the other one which is my absolute first choice is one on writing feminist fairy tales and i would love oh my god you guys know how much i love fairy tales and folklore and myth-based stories and i would love to write my own little feminist fairy tale so that is like my number one and fingers crossed i get into that one but the deadline was yesterday so i should hear if i've been admitted somewhere this week and i'm very very scared but I'll keep you updated on that as well. I've made myself some lunch, I guess you could call it girl lunch because it's just a little combination of things. I have some cheesy onion bread with some leftover spicy hummus and leftover yogurt dip that I made last week. And then as a little dessert for my lunch, <laughs> I have this pastry for which I do not know the English name, but in Dutch it's called a mergpijpje.
Hmm. Today's a very fun day. I have lots of things planned. First, I'm going to be working with my friend Leora and a friend of hers who I haven't met yet, but I'm excited to meet her. We all work for ourselves and so also from home. And we all kind of struggle with getting ourselves to work every day. It can be, I don't know, I'm just bad at that. Getting myself to actually start working when there's no one telling me that I should. So we're gonna work together because that always really helps if you used to have someone else to be working with so i'm gonna go to her place and then the three of us are just gonna have a nice little work day together and leora sometimes does this with her friends and she invited me to join as well because i said that i really really struggled getting myself to work so i'm super super happy about that um and i'm excited to go to her place and then we're all just gonna have a little work day together and then after that in the evening i have a little <laughs> i want to say work meeting it's really not it's just me and another friend of mine are working on like a fun little story together um and we're gonna have a call over it makes it sound like it's work but it's just we didn't have time to come over to each other's city so we're just gonna have a call about it and that's also really fun so it's gonna be a productive day today wow feeling great let's go let's go to rotterdam <laughs> Making cinnamon rolls. Love it. Ooh. So fun right now. <laughs> oh, like the old lecker. So lecker. <laughs> oh, sit there open. Um, That's what we should have oh. seen. Well, that looks gross. Volgens mij is dit de way to go. En dan moet je ze nog een beetje zingen. Ja. Het is zo ugly. Maar dit is de buitenste, die is altijd lelijk. Nou, I ruined him. My child. En hij heeft hier zo'n hele dikke kolder en daar zit er niks. Ja, maar dat is toch lekker? Nee, dat is gewoon handmade. Ik weet niet of dit een goed idee is. Hoe 
sure I got four shots. Mijn review van de cinnamon roll. <laughs> Nina! Ik weet niet hoe mijn handen vallen. Ja, maar dat had ik niet hoor. Mijn review is. Nou, voor een cinnamon roll die like, niet helemaal vers is, vind ik hem echt wel lekker. Ja, ik vind hem ook lekker. Ik ben enthousiast. En de appelsmaak is niet te overheersend. En ik vind de geïmproviseerde cream cheese situatie bovenop best wel lekker. Ja. Daar ben ik wel tevreden over. Dat ben ik jullie eens. Ik vind het een 7,5. Nice. Ik een 8. Ik zou het ook een 7,5 geven. Jullie zijn echt bitches. So cute. Hi everybody. Yes. Goed productief geweest. Friday afternoon already because I spent the last few days mostly just um, sitting behind my desk and editing. When I go on my little walk to the grocery store, I always love listening to a little podcast. My favorite at the moment, the one I've been listening to, is Binge Topia podcast. They are, I think, my all time favorite podcast ever. If you love a good combination between well informed social commentary and just <laughs> internet brain rot. You should listen to Binge-topia, they are amazing. It's Friday already and I haven't heard yet from the writing course, um, but I'm getting a little bit scared that this is a sign that I'm just not admitted and I don't know, maybe they're just kind of behind on letting everyone know. I am also expecting a package this afternoon. So when that arrives, I will let you know um, because other than that I I'm really just gonna continue today working and editing it's not very interesting <laughs> candle updates <laughs> I've completely burned through the sandalwood patchouli one that I got from TK Maxx this one was not my favorite I would have thought so because I love woody smells and I also usually have patchouli smells for like my soaps and stuff, like my bath and body stuff in the shower. But there was just something about this one, a little bit too much of a sweet undertone that I just wasn't a big fan of. And you could also barely hear the crackle of the woodwick, so not my favorite one. This one was from DW Home. And the next one I'm gonna try is this one, looks very nice, which is actually also from DW Home, but a different like sub brand. I don't know, I also got this from TK Maxx. This one smells very fresh, like freshly washed linens. Not really an autumnal scent, but I'm gonna give it a try. I think I would like it. Um... <laughs> 
so because I have a new desk, I did not share this. Sorry, I have a new desk. <laughs> because I now have a new desk, my old table, um, it's, ki it's kind of just standing here in the middle of the room <laughs> before I manage to sell it or bring it to a thrift store or something. But it does mean that for like a sure few days, I can live out my dream of having a dining table. I've always wanted one of those. <laughs> Because I've only ever had my my workspace, you know, and I made it look cute and I put little candles on the table oh, Wow, the simple things in life. I'm just happy to have a temporary dining table And I also got my package <laughs> She's dripping. Let's open this little package. It was kind of hard for me to find the version that I was looking for, but I'm glad I found it. <gasps> yes. A Study in Drowning by Ava Reed. This is the same author who wrote Juniper and Thorn, which is a book that I absolutely love. And she recently came out with a new book that is dark academia, fantasy, gothic, rivals to lovers. My patrons actually also chose this book as the book of the month for our book club. So we're gonna be reading it in October and I'm so excited. Oh, the little crack when you open the book for the first time. Yeah. Is there anything underneath the dust jacket? Oh! Oh, their only enemy is the sea. Wow, I just have to know, I just have to know if it's the right size, like if it's just as long, the same height as my other Ava Reed book. Very important. Ooh, I'm actually a little afraid that it's not. Oh! That's a shame. I went out of my way to get the hardcover so it could match, but they're just different sizes. Oh well, if you want to join the book club, join my patreon i actually mentioned ava reed in my motivation letter it wasn't a motivation letter my short little motivation paragraph for the writing group for a class about feminist fairy tales because i was like let me give some examples of authors that rewrite folklore and fairy tales in a way that i really like and one of them is juniper and thorn by ava reed uh i actually planned on finishing the vlog here but i don't want to finish this vlog without an update on the writing course so i really do hope that the next clip you're gonna see is me responding to the email of the writing course whether i fit admit it or not oh god i'm not crying i'm just really ill <laughs> do you ever just have a cold that's so bad that you're just crying god oh sorry <sighs> I've been in bed for the past couple of days, that's why this video is so late. But I just wanted to give you an update because that's what I promised you guys. Uh, first off, I want to say that I feel like I've been like needlessly impatient. Like obviously it just takes a long time to get through all of these applicants. So, but I'm happy to announce that I got in. Woo! My happiness expression would be a little bit more out there if my nose wasn't so stuffed right now. And I even got into my first choice, Feminist Fairy Tales, which I'm so excited about. Like, the weird thing is, the reason that I got in is because <laughs> they didn't reach full capacity. So all of the other courses that I signed up to, they had way more applicants than they had space, but my first choice, Feminist Fairy Tales, was clearly the least popular one because they didn't even reach capacity so good for me i guess <laughs> so that's great that, that's just the update that i wanted to give so when that rolls around i will of course vlog my experience i'm super excited about it and oh i just can't wait to write my own little fairy tale retelling because all the books that i love most are retellings of or are very inspired by folklore and myths and fairy tales so I just can't wait to write my own so I'm gonna sign off for this vlog thank you so much for watching me I'm gonna chill and I will see you soon in our vlog all right goodbye <laughs>